Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a new uh, new day of learning with me. So before we start our discussion, let us have a short prayer to be led by Miss Serena Ordonio. Let's make ourselves worthy in the presence of our Lord. Let us pray in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he does not the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ma'am, we are muted. Now, for our attendance, Ms. Manjola, do we have absentees for today? Um, There are no absentees for today, ma'am. Okay, that's nice to hear. Now, let us let us go to our presentation. Uh, for our motivational activity, we're going to have a game entitled, What's the Emoji? So, all you need to do is look at the emojis and also the letter clues presented here to formulate a word. So, now for number one, who wants to try? Ordonio, ma'am. Yes, Ms. Arena Ordonio. The operation. That's right. The answer is cooperation. Now for number two, who wants to who wants to try? Sorry, ma'am. Raimundo. Literature, ma'am. Very good, Miss Raimundo. Now for the next item, we have. Manjola, po. Yes, Manjola. Parabol. That's correct. The answer is parable. Now, who's going to answer? Panagsagan. Panagsagan? Speaking, ma'am. That's right, Miss Panagsagan. The answer is speaking. Now, for the last item, we have... Uh, who wants to answer? Silva po. Yes, Silva. Kindly state your answer. Responsibility po, ma'am. That's right. The correct answer is responsibility. So all the words that you have stated right now is connected to our topic, which is discover through Philippine literature the need to work cooperatively and responsibly in today's global village. So before we start, here are some questions for you. For number one, do you find it hard to work with other people? Sorry, ma'am. Yes, Torio? Um, no, ma'am. I don't find it hard to work with other people po because I can easily adapt to my environment po. That's a nice, that's a nice insight. How about the others? Reyes, ma'am. Yes, Reyes? Yes, it's hard for me because sometimes I can't voice out my concerns. That's right. It can be it can be sometimes hard to work with other people that you are not comfortable with. Now, any other answers? Manjola. Yes, Manjola. Um, I am more comfortable with working with the people close to me Paul, because I find it easier to communicate with the person you already know. Paul. That's right. How about uh, the others? Raimundo, ma'am. Yes, Miss Raimundo. Um, I prefer doing things on my own because um, it's much easier to focus on. That's a nice perspective. So for the next question, we have, why is it essential to do your duties in the community? Anyone who wants to answer? Reyes po. Yes, Reyes. It's important to do our duties in the community so that we can have a more peaceful and balanced living. That's a very good answer for the next one we have. As a member of society, what do you think is your top responsibility in improving our way of life? Sorry, ma'am. Yes, sorry. Um, now, as a student, po, it's my responsibility to be studying well to make sure that I can contribute to our society. Po. 
Um, my knowledge and skill is my very ever is my everlasting gift to the community. That's great. So even if even if you're just a student, you can do a lot of things to contribute in our society to improve and cause a betterment. So for the last item, um, we have why is there a need to work together in order to achieve a common goal? Minjola, yes, Minjola. Um, I believe everything can be achieved when we work together because teamwork makes the dream work. Whether it is a big or small, um, it will make nothing seem to be impossible. That's right. How about the others? Silva, what? Yes, Silva. Um, Ma'am, I think we need to work together to practice our communication skills and also to learn the value of teamwork. That's a very good answer. Now for the last person who wants to answer. Raimunda, ma'am. Yes, Raimunda. Um, for us to finish the work or assignment uh, quickly. Uh, that's a very good answer. So all of you did a really great job in answering this question. So I'm glad that you're actively participating. Now, we're going to proceed with our uh, objectives. So in the progress of the lesson, uh, you students are expected to recognize the significance of cooperation and responsibility through a written text entitled The Parable of the Rainbow Colors by Juan Martin Flavier. Analyze your understanding through guided questions. Demonstrate effective use of listening skills through a dialogue. Classify different types of listening and also compose an essay about cooperation and responsibility. Now it's reading time. So uh, the text that we are going to tackle for today is The Parable of the Rebel Colors by Juan Martin Flavier. So, Listen carefully and take note of the uh, important details on our text for the day. So now I'll be presenting you our text. Is my presentation visible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma So I'll be reading the first paragraph and then you'll continue. Uh, it all started as innocent statements by each of the callers. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility. But as time went on, the callers' declaration became stronger and hot. They even used an overtone voice to put down the other callers. Who wants to continue? Minjola po. Yes, Minjola. I am the brightest for red is the most striking. Why? Light sustaining blood is color red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are color red. For the next slide, who wants to continue? Sorry, po. Yes, sorry. What can be brighter than my yellow, exemplified by the sun? I am the color of gaiety and warmth. Without me, only the eye-glaring ones remain. Now we have Ms. Zarina. Can you continue? How about you, Ms. Ms. Reyes? What 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 outlandish claims? Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am the most important because I represent health and strength. Look at the ripened fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you're talking about vegetables and lives, you're referring to my color. I am the symbol of life. All the tribes in the fields and forests is greenery I provide. Who wants to continue? Raymundo. Yes, Raymundo. What can be more expansive than the skies and seas? Do you forget the farthest sky and the deepest sea are blue? I represent patriotism. 
Okay, for the next one. Panagsagan. You're talking about wide areas. I hope you realize that the largest area in the world is silence. I represent the dimension with my color. It means thoughtfulness. Thoughtfulness. So for the last one. Yola po. Yola po. Yola. Aha. You forgot the pomp of royalty and power is violent. I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? So stop. You're all wrong and all right. Yes, you all have your features, but all of you have a special role. And more impo or importantly, you need to give each other to give the mixed color of beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. So it is the end of the story. Let us now go back in our presentation. So here I provided you another set of the activities to test your understanding about the text that we have just read. So for the first part, uh, you're going to read each question and answer it. I'll be giving you about four minutes to formulate your answers. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma Okay, guys. Um, you have less than two, uh, less than two minutes to answer those questions.
Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, for number one, who wants to try to answer? Ordonio, ma'am. Yes, Miss Serena Ordonio. Uh, they are quarreling about who is the greater caller. Yes, that's right. They are quar quarreling about who's the dominant caller among all of them. So, for number two. Reyes, ma'am. Yes. yes, Reyes. Uh, read the question and then answer. Okay, pa. What did the rainbow represent in the story? The rainbow represents us humans. Even if we have differences, we are born in one race. We should accept all of our differences and acknowledge each of our strengths and weaknesses. That's a very good answer, Ms. Reyes. For number three, who wants to try? Mga has or your mom. Yes, Ms. Mga has. How do you think cooperation is evident in the story? Ma'am, cooperation is evident and shown at the end of the story. There is a need for us to accept that uh, that diversity among each one of us and work together towards the betterment of the world we live in. Po. That's correct. How about the next item? Who wants to try? Manjola po. Yes, Ms. Manjola. Would you be willing to aside differences with other people in order to work together towards something bigger? Um, I think each of the colors represents best represents a person sometimes we are so full of ourselves that we disregard our others we are too busy working hard to earn a title for greatness that we forgot the real value of life and that is a good relationship with others that's very good miss Menjolda. now for the last item who wants to answer Any volunteer? How about you, Miss Mangahas? Kind the answer number five. Um, ma'am, I think the uh, the question is among the characteristics cited by the colors in the story. Which color do you think best represents a person? I think, ma'am, um, every color or each color best represents a person because um that we are full of ourselves and sometimes we disregard others and that we're busy working hard to earn a title for greatness and uh, we forgot the true uh meaning of um the life and how to um have a good uh, relationship with others so very good everyone it seems like you really listen to the text that we have read earlier now for the second part what are uh all you need to do is match the color of the letters above to the items being described below so now let's start who wants to answer number one Torio, ma'am. Yes, Torio. Um, I think the answer po is letter G, ma'am. That's right. For number two. Ordonio, ma'am. Yes, Ordonio. Letter E. That's right. The color of patriotism is blue. Now for number three. Raimundo, ma'am. Yes, Miss Raimundo. F po. That's correct. Uh, how, how about for number four? Panagsagan po. Yes, Miss Panagsagan. Letter C po. That's correct. The color of health and strength is orange. Now for number five, the color of gaiety and warmth. Manjola po. Yes, Miss Manjola. I think it is letter D. That's correct. The color of gaiety and warm is green. Now for number six. Mga has. Yes, Miss Mga has. But I, I think it's letter B, yellow. 
That's correct. How about the last number, Miss Silva? I think for Ma'am A. So very good, guys. Um, you really applied your learning and knowledge about the text earlier, here, which is the parable of the rainbow colors. Now for our lesson one, we have listening and writing towards cooperation. So listening is one of the skills that has been part of our daily lives. Communication is clear and more effective when we fully understand what we are hearing. Full attention and understanding is a prerequisite in practicing our listening skill. So there are different types of listening according to learning English online. Now, the first one is listening for G's. It is when you listen uh, for the main idea of the text. For the second one, listening for a specific information. It is when you listen for a specific detail, for example, a keyword. Now for the last one, we have listening for a detailed understanding. It is when you listen to get all the important information that the text provides. So again, what are the different types of listening? Anyone? Raimundo, ma'am. Yes, Ms. Raimundo. Listening for gist, listening for specific information, and listening for a detailed understanding. Thank you, Ms. Raimundo. So um, in, in practicing your listening skill, you must also take note of the following. Maintain eye contact so that the speaker knows that you're paying your full attention to them. Don't be judgmental while listening. Don't interrupt the speaker. So you must let the speaker first, uh, finish first and then you make your judgment and respond. Now, employ active listening techniques. You can take down notes or internalize what the other person is saying towards you. So for the last one, think about what the other person is saying and not what you should respond. So what is the purpose of listening? Um, I want to hear your insights about this. Manjola po. Yes, Ms. Manjola. Um, I think the purpose of listening is it widens our understanding and comprehension about what we are hearing. And aside from that, it also helps us to establish good relationship with others and connections among those around us. Very good, Ms. Manjola. That's a very nice answer. So... The purpose of listening depends on the situation and the nature of communication. So I'll be providing you another set of tips for you to be able to practice your listening skill and for you to be a good communicator. So for number one, specifically focus on the messages being communicated. Avoid distractions and preconceptions to gain a full and accurate understanding of the speaker's point of view and ideas. Critically assess what is being said. Observe the nonverbal signals accompanying what is being said to enhance understanding. Uh, show interest, concern, and concentration. Encourage the speaker to communicate fully, openly, and honestly. Develop a selflessness approach, putting the speaker first. So when it's your turn to speak, um, the other person will give you the same amount of respect and attention. Now, arrive with a shared and agreed understanding and acceptance of both side views. So each one of us have our own uh, perspective and beliefs towards a certain thing. So we must accept our differences. So lastly, formulate ways to respond. So here we have our acti activity time again. Um, I'll be giving you a dialogue conversation from the English conversation practice. It is an app containing um, English conversations to practice your speaking skills and also your listening skills. So listen and analyze the important details in the dialogue. So tell me if there is a problem with the video that I'll be presenting. Is everything clear, guys? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you.
I'm going to an art gallery tonight. That's cool. My friend, Jane, is an artist. She's displaying her work there. I love art. I paint in my spare time. Really? I didn't know that. My friend is a sculptor. Sculpting? That's fascinating. Would you like to come with me tonight? I can't. I already have plans. She is going to be displaying her work all week. Would you like to go tomorrow night? Sure, I would love to. I can introduce you to her. She always loves talking to people about art. I don't know that much about it. I just really enjoy looking at it. I don't know a lot about art either. I'm just going to support her tonight. You're a good friend. What is your interest? I prefer music. I love music too, but painting is my passion. I would like to see your work one day. I can show you some right now. I have them on my wall. Let's go see them. Do you hear it clearly or do you want me to play it again? It's clear. Yeah. It's clear. Okay, so since you heard it clearly, we were going we we're we're going to proceed to our activity. So you'll be answering uh, questions and um, I want you to apply also your understanding about the video dialogue that I've just presented. So for number one, who wants to answer? Storia. Yes, Storia. Number one, where is Greg going tonight? Um, the answer is letter C, ma'am, art gallery. That's correct. Greg is going to the art gallery tonight. So for number two. Hey, yes, Pa. Yes, Reyes. What does Greg's friend Jane do? Letter D, she's a sculptor. That's very good. How about for number three? Who wants to try? Raymundo, ma'am. Yes, Raymundo. What does Kathy like to do in her spare time? Letter C, Pa. Pain. Very good. How about for number four, Miss Mangahas? Um, what is Greg's interest? I think it's letter C, Paul Music. That's right. So all of you did a really great job in the first part of our dialogue activity. Now let's go and proceed to the second part. So it is entitled A Trip to the Lake. Um, again, it is from English Conversation Practice. Uh, listen and analyze the important details in the dialogue. Mom, can we have a picnic this afternoon? Sure, Kathy. Where should we have it? How about the lake? That's a great idea. What should we pack for lunch? I can make ham sandwiches and potato salad. Yummy. I love ham sandwiches and potato salad. Tell your sisters about the picnic. Okay. I think it is going to get hot later today. That's good. It will be a good day for a swim in the lake. I'll tell Cindy and Allison to wear their swimsuits. Don't forget to pack your life jackets, too. Okay. Will Andy be joining us? Of course your brother will be joining us. Where is he? He's taking a nap on the couch. Let's wake him up. You can wake him up. I'll get my sisters. Andy, wake up. We're going to the lake. Once again, guys, do you heard it clearly or you want me to play it again? 
It's clear, clear po, ma'am. It's clear po. Um, let's now proceed to uh, the second part of the activity. So for number one, who wants to answer? Panagsagan po. Yes, Miss Panagsagan. Where does Kathy want to have a picnic? Letter A po at the farm. Excellent. How about the other? Ma'am, number two, Zeti in Ordonia po. Yes, Miss Arena. Uh, I think the answer is letter B, both A and B. Um, the answer is uh, both A and B. Um, also in number one, um, I just mistaken. Um, the answer is B by the lake. They're going to have a picnic by the lake. So for number three, who wants to answer? Silva. Yes, Silva. What does mom tell Kathy not to forget? A for life jacket. Very good. How about for number four? Reyes. Yeah, yes, Miss Reyes. What is Kathy's brother doing? Let her be taking a nap on the couch. Uh, very good, everyone. Those who have their answers incorrectly, you can try again. Um, employ those tips that I have given you in terms of listening. So, to summarize all of the points that we have been discussed, let us all state what we have learned. So, Complete the following sentences with the insights you have gained. So for number one, who wants to answer? Raimundo, ma'am. Yes, Miss Raimundo? I can practice cooperation through working within a group and having my shared contribution. That's correct. For number two, who wants to answer? Manjola. Yes, Miss Manjola. When listening, you have to... Maintain eye contact, employ active listening techniques, and always pay attention. That's correct. Uh, for number three, we have Ms. Mangahas. The listening strategy that best fits me is note-taking or internalizing what the speaker is saying. Po. That's correct. For the next item, we have... Who wants Reyes, to yes, Yes, Ms. Reyes. The three types of listening are listening for gifts, listening for specific information, and listening for detailed understanding. Yes, that's right. Take note of those three because we're going to answer an activity related to those types of listening later. So for the last item, who wants to try? Ma'am, Joseph. Yes, Joseph, what's your answer? Uh, purpose for listening varies from situation and the nature of communication. That's right. The purpose for listening varies from situation and also the nature of communication. So for our application activity, um, uh, as what I told you earlier, there are three types of listening. These are listening for G's, listening for specific information, and also listening for a uh, deeper understanding a uh, detailed understanding. So now who wants to answer um, these questions or uh, these sentences? Any volunteer? Raimundo, ma'am. Yes, Miss Raimundo. Uh, read a, uh, the sentence below and figure out which type of listening each item falls under. Okay, ma'am. Number one, you are tasked by your older sister to note how many cups of soy sauce is needed in cooking adobo as you watch the cooking show on TV. I think it is listening for specific information. Yes, that's right. Uh, this item falls under listening for specific information because all, uh, all you're tasked to do is just take note of the cups of soy sauce needed in cooking adobo as you watch the TV show. Now for the second number, who wants to answer? Torio, ma'am. Yes, Miss Torio. Um, the, the whole class was instructed by the teacher to watch a short film and call someone to discuss his or her takeaways. 
Um, it's listening for gist po. And what is the meaning of listening for G, uh, gist again? Do you remember? Mangahas. Uh, yes, Miss Mangahas. What is listening for gist? Ma'am, it's listening for the main idea of the text po. Uh, thank you very much, Miss Mangahas. Now let's proceed to the next slide. Who wants to try for number three? Managsagan po. Yes, Miss Reyes for number three. And for number four, we have Miss Managsagan. Okay po. Your research advisor told you to watch a documentary and write a case, a case study about it. Ma'am, it is listening for a detailed understanding. Very good. And what is listening for a detailed understanding again, Ms. Reyes? Ma'am, it is listening for the important information that the text provides. Very good. For number four, open your mic, Ms. Panagsagan. Yes, ma'am. The teacher instructed you to note the colors of each rainbow, rainbow color before reading a text. I think it's listening for specific information. That's correct. That's what uh, we did last uh, previous activity. So for the evaluation part, um, create, uh, here are the instructions. Create a text about cooperation and responsibility. Make sure it contains five to 10 sentences. Attach your file in the Google Classroom. So I'll be giving you a uh, one hour after this uh, meet to pass your activities. Uh, you'll be graded according to the rubrics. Uh, content, 10 points. Grammar, 10 points. Creativity, 10 points. And also originality, 10 points. Uh, for a total of uh, 40 points. Is the instruction clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, yes ma'am. Ma now, for your assignment, all you need to do is search and read about informative essay because that will be our topic for our next meeting. So here's my reference. Thank you everyone for your active participation and I hope you learned a lot today. Uh, thank you and goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.